1989, it gets bigger and bigger every year, and guess what? More than 2,500 of you signed up to ride today, so a round of applause for you. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. So, just a reminder, we have pancakes here to my left, and also to the right is where we have some coffee to get you going. I just wanted to thank our sponsor, courtesy of St. Lawrence Market, for your pancake breakfast. So a round of applause to St. Lawrence Market for hooking you up. And also for that Caffeine Boost Jet Fuel Coffee to my right here, a round of applause for them too. Thank you. And also we want to say thank you to Cycle Toronto and the City of Toronto for organizing this event. And also thank you so much to the police and EMS assistants and the volunteers. They're there in the back as well. If you guys can wave for us, thank you so much. We appreciate you marshalling the ride. So while you're getting settled in, I just want to ask you guys a couple of questions. Uh, how was your ride, first of all? Great. Uh, so how many of you, just curious, actually bike most days to work or school? Yeah, that's a lot. And uh, how many of you just take your bikes out for the weekend to have fun? Hopefully, hopefully all of you. <laughs> so this is what we're here to celebrate. Uh, biking, we know, is fast, it's healthy, and most importantly, it's fun. So if, as you look to your left and your right, and you see the community of people around you, they all feel the same way as you, and, and this is really the biking community at its finest. So we have some speeches for you coming up. And first on the roster, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the Chair of the Public Works and Infrastructure Committee, Councillor Denzel Minin Wong. He's here now to share a few words and also read the 2014 Bike Month Proclamation. Thanks, Pooja. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to thank everyone for coming today. I hope you had a, a great ride. There, um, I, I, I actually, there's a big lineup for the pancakes. There's more congestion in the pancake line than there is on the Gardner Expressway this morning. <laughs> Although there's only there's only one line of congestion, not like the Lakeshore and the Gardner Expressway, just one line of congestion. Um, I'm pleased to be here today to be part of this great tradition. People riding their bikes to Toronto City Hall. To, kick off bike month in June. You're doing something that more and more people are doing and that's riding their, their bikes to work and to school and, and that's great. It's part of a, an active and healthy lifestyle of the city. We are continuing to add to our bike network. We all know that cycling is critical part a critical part of our transportation network. As more and more people use their bikes to get around, that means a reduction in vehicles and that helps re reduce congestion. And we've just introduced a new smartphone app called Toronto Cycling that will enable cyclists to contribute to the future of cycling in Toronto. The app uses a smartphone to report a cyclist's trip information, such as the route taken and the length of the trip. This will help the city in developing a new cycling network plan. So you can get more info on the app by visiting toronto.ca cycling app or what I just did this morning, just search it on the internet and download it. Now I would like to take this opportunity to, to thank Cycle Toronto for organizing Bike Month and Bike Share Toronto for supporting the group ride this morning. And thanks to all of you for being here, to, being here today. Uh, I'd like to thank and recognize some councillors for uh, coming today. I think. Councillor Fragadakis, I see down there, and I think the Deputy Mayor, Norm Kelly, was here. Councillor, did you ride to work today? Or did you just drive down and kind of look like you cycled to work today? Councillor Fragadakis? You came with your bike? Nice. And Mr. Pritchard from Metrolinx, he cycled to work today. Yeah. Oh, Councillor Davis? Councillor Doucette, Councillor McMahon, some other candidates who were running for election and shilling for votes, so I, I don't think I can recognize you today because that would, that would be unfair. Um, is Councillor, so De the Deputy Mayor is here, he signed this proclamation, which I will read, 
Whereas cycling is an excellent way for individuals and families to enjoy our city while taking part in a healthy physical activity. Since the launch of Toronto's first Bike to Work Day in 1989, the City of Toronto has worked with the cycling community to encourage commuters to get on their bikes and ride to and from work. During Bike Month, the City encourages people to consider commuting by bike throughout the year to help reduce traffic congestion and pollution. As part of this initiative, Toronto is increasing its bike network by adding more bike trails and protected bike lanes in communities across the city. Toronto Bike Month will feature hundreds of cycling events and activities to help promote cycling as a sensible transportation option throughout the city. Now, therefore, I, well, this is the proclamation, not me, Deputy Mayor Norm Kelly, do hereby proclaim May 26th through June 26th as Bike Month in the City of Toronto. So thank you very much. I've been doing this every year for the past, uh, this term of council, this is my, my, my last time officiating this term of council. Um, for Bike Month. I did want to thank all the cyclists for all your support over the last three years. I think we've done a lot in the city in terms of building a cycling network, the first separated uh, network in the city. We've done a great job. We've got more to do to build uh, great cycling infrastructure across the city. And with your support in the future, we'll do that. Thank you very much.